With the Los Angeles Times in Irvine, California, I'm Lindsay Theory, joined by Bill Plaschke and Gary Klein. The Rams open training camp. Bill, what do you think? More than 10,000 fans came out. Is this city excited for the NFL? It was amazing. It's like real. Today, it, it got real. Things got real. There was real helmets and real uniforms and real players and real running around and everybody, almost 90 Rams out there, scrimmaging, passes, interception, boos, jeers, cheers. It was like the Rams are here and it's like it started today. What do you know? It got real, Gary. What, <laughs> what about the quarterback situation? How real is that? Case Keenum comes in as the starter. Jared Goff, though, you have to think one of these days the switch is going to flip. Sure, it's only a matter of time, but at least today, just like in OTA's case, Keenum took the first team reps. Jared Goff did get some uh, opportunities in the crowd on its, you know, on the tip of its seat. Every time he touched the ball, he had an inter pass intercepted, but I think everyone, from a curiosity factor, was satisfied, and now we'll see what happens as training camp moves on. Bill, more than 20 years since the NFL's been in LA. What do you think the learning curve is out here for the fans? For the media, for everybody. The voice is a long practice. I haven't been to one of these practices <laughs> in 21 years. I told uh, Johnny Hecker, the punter, I said, I haven't been doing this in 21 years. It's uh, it's it's huge. It's like the NFL. This is so much bigger out here than any college practice that we've been to over the last 20 years. It's like this shows how much the NFL. When the NFL left town 20, 21 years ago, it wasn't like this. It's like this now. It's a whole different ball game. There's they're selling, you know, it's concessions and jerseys, and there's fans still over there. Tons of fans waiting for autographs and uh, you know and photos and there's like you know there's almost everything but luxury suites out here. It's incredible. The NFL is bigger than anything, and today proved it. Gary, a little bit of news out of camp today. Obviously, we got to talk to T.J. McDonald for the first time since his accident last spring, mm -hmm. and then there's a running back, Trey Mason, who did not come to camp. Right. Uh, uh, McDonald was here. He really wouldn't offer any details on what happened in May, but that situation obviously is at a stage where he can be out here. Trey Mason, the running back who was arrested in March in Florida, uh, was not here. He did not report. Jeff Fisher said he has not been in communication with the team uh, since that incident. So that situation, which isn't a surprise given what was happening during uh, OTAs, still needs to be resolved. But it looks like uh, the Rams are moving forward uh, without Trey Mason at this point. Only day one of training camp. Gary will be here every day. Bill and I might be stopping by as I'm well. Going for Brazil. <laughs> See you in three weeks. Have fun in the water. You're not going to Brazil with me? No, I'm not. I'm going to be right here in Los okay. Angeles. Keep it on the LA Times for the latest from training camp and from the Olympics.